When the U.S. Olympic women's hockey team won gold, there was a whole lot of Minnesota flavor, including the head coach, Rob Stauber. He grew up in Duluth and turned in quite a career as a goalie. When he was tapped to be the head coach, he knew the goal was very simple, beat Canada. 1986, Rob Stauber remembers it well, leading his team to the state high school hockey tournament at Duluth Denfeld. I remember that like yesterday. Uh, I'll never forget it. Uh, I know what it meant to, you know, not only myself, but, you know, my teammates and and our school at the time had never ever been there. He took his game to the Gophers and won a Hobie Baker Award for the best player in college hockey. That's uh, special as well. Hockey's been great. That's the reality for, for, for me. Hockey's been great. He's made a name since playing professionally and coaching by coaching goalies, opening his own business nearly two decades ago, teaching kids how to stop a puck. But this is such a unique position, such a unique business thing. Yep. What does it take to be a great goaltender when somebody asks for the first paragraph you have to have? Mindset. You got to be so resilient, short term memory. Um, you're going to have tough days. Uh, growth is difficult. It takes a long time. But he took a break from it this past year to coach the Olympic women's team. A bit surprising they chose a former goalie for the head job. I would just say that um, what I would often do is remind myself this is uh, uh, hockey's a game that I've done my entire life and I know it. Period. I, I know what I see. I know what I believe in. What followed was magical. A run to a win over Canada. A win for the ages. A win for a gold medal. Our perseverance, we, I, I'm telling you, Mike, we, we knew we were going to win. I mean, it's, it's, uh, people might think that's kind of interesting. Um, we knew we were going to win. And not for one second did, did I doubt it. And going into the overtime, you could just look at the players in the locker room. You could look in their eyes. You could feel it. We're going to win. He understands the 20-something hockey player because he was one. We profiled him 20 years ago in his palatial college apartment. The two bedrooms are both high-tech, complete with computers, and a collection of shoes that would make Amel DeMarcos green with envy. Uh, it's different. As you can see, we got holes in the wall from uh, rapid-fire glasses when roommates get mad at each other and stuff like that. He was learning what it took to be a tenacious goaltender. The mind is the most important thing. Like, um, when I'm working with a goalie, I start, I start upstairs because if you don't have that, you don't have a foundation. Exactly what he found in his players in South Korea with his U.S. gold medal team. Do you feel that sense when you win it? Do you feel that a, a different kind of pride because you realize you just did something for the entire country? Mike, so many people I've heard, and I've only been back a few days, and whether it's emails, texts, and verbally, what it did for people, and what, I mean, people that said, I wasn't even a hockey fan, and I was absolutely glued to that TV, and, and the, the sense of pride people have and had for that game and the outcome and how they were attached to it and how, how deeply they wanted us That's to win. It's rare, isn't it? It is, it is like, I, I get chills thinking about yeah. it.